Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Gemini Outdoors and today we'll be doing the March 2016 summer season update show. Uh, we got a lot to cover so everybody stick around if you want to see what I'm going to be up to in the upcoming summer season. Before we get to the uh, uh, summer 2016 uh, summer season update, let's review the uh, winter season for 2015. Um, the winter season, I was playing catch up from the, sum the summer season before that. Uh, I didn't get as many evals done as I thought I was, uh, but looking back on it now, I probably got more done than what I probably should have. Um, you know, I think we got two batches done, which is I think like six videos. So that was that was a pretty good. Uh, a pretty good haul for for the winter season considered the winter season is very short for me because when work starts picking up it my life becomes all about work and uh, that's what I've been pretty much doing from November until now I haven't been on, in front of the video camera at all uh, since uh, since about the middle of November um, but before that from September to October uh, I got a few things done. I got some excursions done. Uh, got a few day hikes done. I'm really uh, happy about that. Uh, but uh, I definitely got behind and, and still are, am behind as far as uh, evals are concerned. Um, so I'm hoping to, uh, to get caught up with that in, in the future. So My priority moving forward in Gemini Outdoors now is uh, I want to concentrate on quality videos. Um, I was going to concentrate on quantity. I just wanted to put up as many videos as I possibly could. And I've gone back and I've really, over the last few months, since I haven't had much time to produce anything, and I've reviewed some of the videos that I've got up. And the one, the, the things that I've noticed is, is the ones that I've thrown together really haven't gotten quite that many views and the ones that I've spent time on and I really focused on the product uh, that I'm evaluating uh, or or whatever it is uh, say a day hike or whatever seems to get more views um, so I'm definitely going to be uh, concentrating now more on quality videos instead of quantity um, you know there's a lot of uh, people out there who will say, "Well, you need to get a big video bank, and uh, you know, of, of videos, and that way, if you're out for say, like the winter season, which that's what I want to try to do during this summer season, is get ahead of the game, is get ahead, and that way, during the winter season, if I'm still at this job, which I'm hoping to change, uh, that's another big thing that, that I'm trying to do in my life right now. I'm looking for a new job. Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to be uh, more conducive with what I'm doing here in Gemini." But we'll just have to see. I don't. I don't really know if I'll be able to find that or not. But we're, well, I'm definitely going to give it a try. Um, if I do get uh, a big backlog of videos, a video bank, as I call it, uh, I'm, what I'm probably going to try to do is, at a minimum, one video per month, and I might try to increase that to two videos a month, two releases a month. Uh, I'm changing a lot of things around. As you know, I like to change things around when it, when things just don't seem to be working, and that's that's what I'm trying to do right now. So uh, please bear with me while I'm in the process of this change, and I hope you enjoy the, the better quality videos. Oh, and I have gotten, uh, I think I even spoke to this uh, before, I've gotten more video equipment, I've gotten uh, better lighting for the home studio here. Um, but uh, I, I'm trying to, to make better quality videos, better qual with better quality equipment. I do have, I do plan on getting some some more uh, video equipment stuff to to help uh, with the quality uh, as far as the the video production is concerned. So uh, please bear with me while I'm while I'm doing all this. Well, as many of you know, uh, my top view getting videos is my evals. And uh, I have been experimenting with what I call the batch format in, um, in my evals. And what that is, is I, I usually put three items together in a batch. And then I, I concentrate on those three items until I, I get the videos produced. And, and then I, of course, upload them on YouTube. Um, 
But what I've decided to do is I've gotten so far behind on my evals that I've decided that, you know, there's some there's some stuff out there that I've recently acquired that uh, I think that I need to get videos out on uh, as quickly as I can because they're not really a lot of videos up on these on these items. Um, and what I've decided to do is do some standalone videos. And when I do some standalone evals, uh, those are going to take priority over the batch, the, the batch evals. Um, I think this is really important to me because I want, you know, I, a lot of the, the evals I've been doing have been of stuff that other people, there's, there's videos of them all over YouTube. You know, a lot of the stuff that, I, that I've been evaling is just basically me going over what somebody else has already done and kind of adding my two cents worth in and whether or not I think it. So I still have my own opinion on the, on the, the product, of course, and my own way of testing, my own way of evaluating that product. But, you know, they're already out there. People can, can go see the videos. I'm just kind of adding, adding on to, what, to what's already been done and what's already been put out there. So, it's like, you know, I want to, I want to do some of these standalone videos in order to, to find stuff that's, that there's not a lot of stuff out there on them and get my opinion out there, you know, and, and people come to me first, kind of, in, in a way, kind of, I guess, is what I'm saying. But, uh, I, I, like I said, during, during the winter season, I had a chance to go back and review kind of my work, and I'm kind of looking at what's getting the most views and what isn't. And evals are definitely the top view getter. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be putting a lot of my concentration and my priority on delivering to you, my viewer, my audience, the best quality video, quality eval that I can get and that I can provide for you, produce for you. And uh, that's where I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go with the evals and stuff. Of, of course, I've changed a few things around on my formatting and all that, but uh, you'll be able to see all that uh, in the future videos. And please comment on these videos. Let me know what, I, what you like, what you don't like. Um, I'd like to, to hear from you on that. 2016 excursions. Um, I've already got one in the actually planned to do next weekend and that is I got invited to go on a four-wheeler ride with my sister and her husband my sister Terry of course the one who did the ghost shooting video uh, she's invited me and my wife to come along with her and her her group of folks and we're gonna go along and, and, and do a, a mountain ride and I'm planning on videoing it um, as best I can I uh, don't know how good of a quality video it'll be, but we'll we'll, we'll see uh, once we get that, you know, get up there and do that. But uh, I'm planning on doing uh, a lot more day hikes this year. We're going to be going up, of course, to Montesano. Uh, we're going to be doing um, a lot more of that, probably going on other trails. There's a lot of other trails up there, and of course, then there's Montesano State Park, which is up from that. We're planning. On, I'm planning on going there too, and doing some day hikes there. Uh, and probably some uh, some other places if I if I get the opportunity to. I don't want to promise anybody anything uh, that I can't deliver. So I just I'm just saying it right now that you know um, I'm planning on doing it. But if it's a matter of can I get there or not, you know. Uh, overnighters um, with this whole new opportunity that I think I'm getting with my sister and her and her people uh, we may be able to have the opportunity to do some overnighters up on the mountain and be able to go up there and camp out and and you know practice bushcraft and other and other stuff so I'm really looking forward to doing that uh, like I said you know I might not be able to do that this trip that we're that's coming up this weekend uh, I've got other stuff going on as well with with my family so but I'm looking forward to being able to do it um in the future so overnighters are definitely a possibility um, another thing that I'm doing is I'm going to add another section onto the excursions what I'm going to call is the back roads hikes and what that is is uh we've got a lot of back roads around where I live and a lot of these go up into the mountains and stuff so um there's some some nice views and and stuff like that of the mountains back there and I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is just maybe hiking along the roads maybe parking my truck somewhere and 
excuse me, and be able to go um, go for a little road hike and then come back. I plan on doing some videos of that and seeing how that does. Uh, and of course the mountain rides, which I've just been talking about. We're going to be doing some mountain rides. We're going to do the absolute best we can to uh, to document those for you guys. Uh, make some videos on that. It's a fun. It's fun to do. I used to do it all the time um, back in, when I was in my twenties and stuff, and when you know went forward riding up in the mountains with my friends and stuff. And I just always had a great time with them. I think I'm going to have a great time with my sister and her people. So I'm really looking forward to bringing that to you guys, and uh, I'm hoping that that you guys will be able to watch that and, and enjoy yourselves. Uh, and that pretty much uh, covers excursions. Uh, Multi-night excursions, I'm probably not going to be able to get to this year. Like I said, I'm just I'm, I'm adding as much as I can each year, each season, and just being able to get away and do a multi-night adventure just isn't like doesn't look like it's going to happen, especially if um, I change jobs, uh, which I'm hoping to do as well. So I may not have enough time to get out there and do stuff like that. So uh, multi-night adventure uh, excursions, I'm probably not going to get to this year, but I'm hoping on getting to it in the near future. 2016 uh, Ghost and Ghost stands for Gemini Outdoor Survival and Tactical. It's kind of an entity into itself uh, on my channel. Uh, it has multiple playlists uh, for it, and uh, I'm just going to go down some of those right now and what you can expect from it. Uh, in the Ghost, uh, in the Ghost section, um, uh, pretty much I'm, I'm separating everything out into schools. It's kind of my you know, and pay in mind, I am not an expert at any of this stuff. It's just my take on things. I call it, I call them schools, but you know, it's just stuff that I've learned and I'm passing on to you. Practice this at your own risk. Uh, you can be hurt or killed by doing this stuff. So keep that in mind before you go out and do this stuff, okay? Uh, I'm warning you now. Uh, you know, uh, survival school. Uh, it's survival lessons that I've learned, you know, whether it be uh, woodland survival or urban survival type stuff. Uh, I'm going to be teaching, like I said, I'm going to go lesson by lesson. So that, that's that's going to be kind of the videos. It's going to be lesson, you know, lesson one on this particular subject, you know, lesson two on this particular subject. But it all pertains to the same one. These are all going to be playlists unto themselves. Um, Concealed carry school. Uh, I have been a concealed carrier now for over 10 years. And uh, I, I let my my concealed carry go a few years back uh, just for financial reasons and stuff like that. Uh, but I have recently uh, gotten my concealed back. And I'm also learning new stuff as I go along and I'm passing that along to my viewer, to my audience. And uh, in concealed carry school, we're going to be talking about what it, what it, you know, all kinds of different aspects of the concealed carry world, uh, from what type of concealed carry weapon you you need, to uh, and what pertains to all that, to different techniques, different holster techniques, different types of equipment that you need for a good concealed carry system. Um, I'm going to be getting into all that stuff. Uh, probably going to be teaching my wife a lot of this stuff too. She got her concealed carry recently as well. So I'm really excited about this particular school, concealed carry school uh, playlist. Keep your eyes out for it. I'm going to be making it very soon. Uh, and we're going to be doing these videos in this series during the summer as well. And probably during during the winter if I can. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I, if I change jobs. I don't know exactly what the future will hold with all with the different seasons and stuff. I may be able to do more. I may be. Able, I may not be able to do as much. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Uh, next would be tactical school, which uh, is pretty much just you know we're going out, we're shooting, we're doing tactical shoots and different stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if I'm be able to get to that this year. I'm hoping so. Different tactical systems that I have that I will be running, uh, and I'll show you what I use and the techniques that, that I use. Like I said, keep in mind, you do this at your own risk. Okay, this is just me showing you what I do. I'm not telling you to do this at all. Uh, next one will be in the Ghost series and something that I'm really looking forward to doing with you guys. Firearms evals. I'm going to get to it 
I've been waiting to see what this whole ITAR stuff that was going on. I actually sent a letter to my, uh, or an email, excuse me, to my center, and I got a reply back, and I'm going to share that with y'all too. That was, I thought it was really cool that I got a response from my senator, and uh, I'll be sharing that with you in the future as well. So that pretty much covers Ghost. Okay, 2016 theory, uh, theory videos. Of course, I do theory of use which is the use of products, of equipment, and such and such. And then I have theory of life, which is, um, I don't want to use the term philosophy because it gets tossed around so much on YouTube nowadays. That's why I call it theory of life. It's just a theory until you put it into use. And, uh, you know, just different ways to live your life. You know, it's just common sense stuff. It's stuff that, you know, morals and stuff, stuff of that nature. And, um... What I've noticed a lot, uh, like I said, I went back and reviewed my videos during the winter time, and what I found is that theory is really not getting a lot of views. And in my thought process about things of that nature, why am I doing it if it's not getting the views? Well, one thing could be is that I'm just not, I'm a very small channel. I don't have, there's not a lot of videos out there on me right, right now. I don't have hundreds of videos up yet so maybe I'm just not being found as much so what I've decided to do is to cut back on the theory videos yeah there I've been talking a lot about the illusion of freedom series I'm still planning on doing that but it'll probably be an abbreviated version of it and eventually I will come back to it and um, finish it um, I think it's important I get at least a couple of videos up on it before the presidential election and all that, the general election coming in, you know, next uh, winter season. So I want to cover that as much as I possibly can. Um, but I'm still putting my priority on my evals and excursions and ghosts. So uh, I'm also going to um, finish up the mass shootings, uh, theory of life series I think that's a very important series I want to touch on uh, I'm still going to do theory videos it's just I'm not going to do as many of them I'm not going to put my priority on them as much as I did in the past uh, I just want to um, touch on those things that I think that you know is important to me so I'm definitely going to be doing that in theory now theory of use I'm going as well I'm going to be cutting back on but I'm still going to be doing them just like I said, just not nearly as much. Um, in the future, uh, if my, my audience starts growing, which I'm, my audience is growing on a very consistent basis now. I mean, I'm not getting the subscribers numbers that I want, but I am getting view numbers that are going up at a consistent rate, it seems. Much more consistent than, than when I first started. And... Um, to me, it's very important that once my, my view numbers start going up, the more theory videos I'm going to do. So uh, just to let you know, they're not going away. They're just getting, they're just going to be slowed down a little bit. Well, in closing, uh, the upcoming summer season is going to be very important to uh, for a lot of things in Gemini. Uh, mainly for me is the quality of the videos. Uh, I feel that those need to go up. I think that the better quality videos I have, the more seriously people are going to take me in uh, a lot of things. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're heading down a road that I think, especially with my personal, in my personal life, in my work life and stuff, that uh, I think is going to be more... Uh, influential on Gemini. What I mean by that is that I think that if I get a better job and I'm and I'm able to have more free time and be able to invest more money into Gemini than what I've been doing, I think that would be a good thing. Uh, of course, the, the downside of that is the job could be completely different than what I'm imagining it to be and it could take up more time and I may not have nearly as much time for Gemini. So that's why I want to put my priority on making the best quality video that I can. I'd rather have a good video up, a good quality video up, than have a bunch of just stuff that's just thrown together in the heat of the moment. Uh, I'm going to be taking my time doing this stuff, uh, testing uh, products and stuff like that, 
uh, that will help with that type of thing because I feel like some stuff has gotten rushed in the past because oh I'm in such a hurry to get the stuff up you know and uh, like I said I just want to I, I want to produce quality videos and I think that I have for the most part you can definitely tell a difference from where I started to where I am now I'm, I'm, I'm at a much higher level than what I was in the past uh, mainly because now I'm able to use my the, the better software that I've gotten I'm wanting to improve all that stuff too in the future but for right now I'm just gonna stick stick where I'm at and I'm gonna learn as much as I can uh, about doing the video production stuff um, you know different camera angles and stuff like that I'm gonna be playing with a lot of different stuff here in, in the future and uh, just keep your eyes out for that I really feel that Gemini is growing um, I feel don't forget I have a Facebook page I have a Twitter uh, I have a MeWe account now and I have a full 30 channel I haven't got any videos up on it yet but uh, it's there in case YouTube decides they want to shut down free speech and other things that's been going on on YouTube and Facebook here lately and Twitter um, I feel that MeWe and and full 30 will you know, while they're not going to be as popular as, as Facebook, Twitter, and, and YouTube, the big three as I call them, they're definitely a fallback that I am on. Please uh, look for me there if if my YouTube channel or my Facebook page or my Twitter account ever gets shut down. Look on there. That's probably where I'm going to be. Um, don't necessarily want to, but... Uh, those are definitely outlets to be able to get my thoughts across and express my my, fir my First Amendment freedom of speech. So, uh, you know, I, I really do feel that we're taking steps forward. Uh, you're coming along on the ride with me. You know, I, I'm, I'm not getting paid to do this, folks. I'm doing this on my own free time. I'm actually spending money on this. Um, sometimes a little bit more to my wife and my family would like. But uh, this is something very important to me. It's something that I feel like I can do, and I can do it good. And, you know, it's something to get me away from this bad state of mind I always get in when I'm at work and, you know, when, when things aren't going good at the house. This is what really sustains me, and it gives me some sort of feeling of accomplishment that I need. And every time I get a new view, every time I get a new subscriber, I'm so thankful. Thank you guys for, for listening to what I got to say. Thank you for, uh, you know, viewing this. this. This is hard work. I mean, I put a lot of a lot of time and effort into this away from a lot of time that I could be spending with my family and friends and stuff. Instead, I, I choose to do this, you know, for, you know, not only myself, but for you guys and for my family as well. I really do want this to lead into something uh, better in the future for my family. You know, uh, if, if I could... Uh, you know, make a living off of this, it would be awesome. You know, do I have any illusions of grandeur uh, that, that I will be able to do that? No, not really. I mean, I would do this anyway. I mean, just to, it's something to do to keep my mind occupied. I'm, I'm one of those kinds of people who I've got to be busy or because I hate to be bored. I mean, that's basically it. You know, I hate to be bored. And this is so much fun to me. It allows me to get out there and it allows me to get into my passion in life, which is the outdoors. Uh, you know, prepping, bushcraft, survival, uh, you know, all these different things I think falls into Gemini Outdoors. It's always been there my whole life. I've always loved the outdoors. I love doing things outdoors. And I'm going to continue to do that and bring it to you, my audience. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you know, and, and uh, I wish the best of luck to all of you out there who uh, who, who are following me and, and and watch these videos and stuff, and uh, y'all have a, a good day.